All right, hello, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Yes, I said ten this time. Dies, X, Equis, Final Fantasy X. Man, I can't believe I did not catch until the editing process on a couple of these episodes. Or on one episode I said Final Fantasy IX, and in another one I said Final Fantasy VII. What's in my head? I don't know. I'm actually awake this time. Now, I have to apologize for a couple other blunders um, from some previous episodes I wasn't able to edit out or edit correctly. Um, they were editing problems, so I have to mention them live. Um, one of them was um, with the um, when we were leaving the Makalania Temple being pursued by those um, Guado people. I said that that uh, track pursuit was by Hamauzu. That was actually incorrect. That was actually by uh, uh, Nakano. So I had that composer wrong. And um, the second thing that I got um, that I did wrong was during that whole episode in the desert, the Sanubia Sands. Um, there was so much editing out of battles. I had to edit out a gazillion battles. And, and I was doing it kind of half asleep. And something funky happened where some of the footage I needed in got pushed outside of the, um, um, out of the area. Which, something important that I had picked up uh, is the Mercury Crest, which is uh, the crest for Riku's ultimate weapon. So that, I did not get to show that off on camera. But I, but I promise you, I have it. Uh, Mercury Crest, right here. And to this point, we have all 22 primers. All right, so now, I had to get all that out the way. Now to my least favorite cloister of trials in the whole game. I will try to explain this as best as possible. Right now, we only, only have certain passages opened up to us. Okay. See if I can remember how to do this. I did not do a test run earlier. Alright, so we can only go in this direction for now. Alright, I think this is the way I want to go. Yes, yeah, so let's go. We can only go straight at this point. It's the only way we can go at the moment. Yes, yeah, so we're going to need to grab this Bavel Sphere. No, I don't have anything in front of me either, folks. I'm trying to do this all by memory on the first try. I've beaten this game enough times, I should know. So, um... Kind of weird how these weird camera angles... Now I think I can go... Okay, I still can't go, um... Down here yet. But now I should be able to go this way. I think I want to go to the left. Right, right, left. You got to hit the X button right when it hits left. Actually, I was wrong. Now that's where we pick up another Bevel Sphere in a minute. All right, so now we want the left. Right, left, right, left. Yeah, so now we want to use this bit of Vel Sphere here. And now we'll open up that piece of track there. Now 
Now I want to come back and hit that other Bevel sphere. And if you go over the edge, you'll just start at the beginning of the uh, other side of the, of the track where you... Right? Okay, good. All right, so let's go. Now we have to go back where we came from on that second layer down below. Left, left. All right, let's go left. Now we can go left this way. Hit X when you want to go the proper direction. It's going to be a lot faster here. Right. Right. Uh, yes. Glad it gave it to me. So this first one here, is there anything I need here? Oh, yeah. I... Actually, this is the way out of the place. But we have to hit the, uh, the Vel Sphere to let us out, so... This is the wrong direction. So if you're playing along at home, folks... Um... On the second layer down below, that's gonna be exit out of here. So don't go there yet. Right, 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 right. And if you're playing along at home, guys, this is the other way you don't want to go also. I believe that's another sphere. So you want to hit... So when you're coming down from that top layer, which we've taken care of, you want to head for the last one on the right, 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 right. Okay, so this is where you want to go. So disregard those first two. Um, yeah, disregard those first two um, turnoffs I did there, folks. You want this last turnoff. Okay, so now you go back to that second one. You fall over the edge, you start at the beginning of this row. And you want to go straight. Now you want to hit the second one. Right, left, right, left. Okay, good. Alrighty. Now you get this destruction. Oh, this sphere, excuse me. Now we can get past that glyph area. We'll make a right, right up here. Right up, right up, right. And you pick up a destruction sphere. Now, you're going to want to um, go back to that second one where we just were, where that glyph sphere was. 
And in place of where the glyph sphere was, we're going to place the destruction sphere. So we're going to go straight. And no, I'm not reading this out of a book. Right, left, right. There you go. And now we want to place the destruction sphere here. If you notice, there, right here where I'm standing, that's going to connect the way out. But before we leave, I believe we need an extra Bevel Sphere. And we're not going to grab it from the pedestal. So we're going to grab the, the, um, the extra Bevel Sphere from right here because we don't need it anymore. Now you want this first one. Hold on. Now we want this right, right. All right, so we're out of here. We have a Bevel Sphere. Yeah, we have to keep going this way. Now we can get out of here. You want this extra Bevel Sphere in hand. Because right now you can get this. But we're not done yet. So now we want to hit this thing, make our pestle come back, right, and because there's two treasures in this level that you have to get in order to get um, Yuna's uh, ultimate weapon, and we get the Night Lance. And we are done. Uh, let me see what that does for Kamari. Yeah, he doesn't have... Um, Alright, so now we go around. We're done. We're out of here. Yuna? Inside, maybe? Then what are we standing here for? Hey! You can stuff your taboos! He's got a point there, Waka. Thanks, Kamari. You're actually useful for once. Oh, how beautiful she is right there. 
And you actually get to watch the process. What's that? A faith. They join with the summoner and together receive the Aeon. They are human souls imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest. Yeah, I remember we saw that little kid in the very first episode. So that's what the faith thought of those little kid things. Wow. Okay. Yuna. The one who told uh, Titus, you can't tonight. That was the faith at the beginning of the game. the last of them you are to stand trial <laughs> I expect it will be a fair trial <laughs> of course it will or will it find out next time on no, I'm just kidding folks all right Bahamut he's not the best day on in this game but he is Dragon guy. See, oh, uh, see, or, uh, oh, no, no, I don't do this, don't do this. Oh, uh, no, me, Mr. Conservative. That doesn't believe in this kind of stuff. He's drag guy. No! No! Drag guy. Oh no, this is a new low for the channel. Alright, well, there we go. Yes, yeah, safe current game. Yes, we did that perfectly. And in a really good time. The High Court of Yevon is now in session. The sacred offices of this court seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. The last of the four maesters we haven't met yet. To those on trial, believe in Yevon and speak only the truth. Maester Kelk Ronso. Summoner Yuna. We you never answered your, your question. Protect the people of Yevon. True? Yes. Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour. <coughs> no, he kicked his ass, killed him. Inspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes. <coughs> and no, he did not. The order of Yevon. Tell this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. <coughs> Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. Better believe it. He killed his father Jiskel with his own hands. What is this? <coughs> hmm? Hadn't you heard? <laughs> Seymour. Not only that. Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. Send the unsent to where they belong? Yes. <laughs> Maester? 
Another plot twist? The dead. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, he was not uh, 50 years old after all. You would have to send me too. What? Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. Life is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die, even continents perish. Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. But what of sin? I am a summoner, my lord, like my father before me. I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... Are you telling me that too is futile? <sighs> Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? <laughs> not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. Their rebirth cannot be stopped. Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Never futile, but never ending. Indeed, that is the essence of the heaven. Lord Micah! The heaven is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity, Summoner. No! That can't be right! Those who question these truths, they are traitors! Well, you've taught us that um, we can atone for our sins and stuff. But now you're telling us otherwise, so how can we be traitors? Get me out of here! I want out now! Let's sh shut you up. Me? You waste your breath. Man, I hope Yuna's okay. Hmm. She is strong. She'll make it. She'll make it? What, so she can die? <sighs> Why is it... Everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Ah, the spiral of death. Huh? Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. He could have made one more statement there, reborn, but we're not going to find out about that till later. Death. It is a cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. <sighs> Come out. Your sentence has been decided. Sentence? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really, now, what person would execute a dear friend? You would. Yeah, you would.
looks like you're next. Uh, next for what? Um. Get going. Where's everybody else? Floating down there somewhere, maybe. What's our sentence? Think they expect us to give up and die down here? Oh, well, that's a lame way to kill someone. Better believe it. Where's Uni? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. No, she doesn't what go to water. Like? Yeah, that sounds like a better There's idea. An exit. How fares the Ronso Maester? It seems my father's murder troubles him. <laughs> Ever the Ronso. Hard headed, hardly useful. However, the summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Brasco. She may be of some use to us alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevin. She cannot be allowed to live. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. Sir, leave that to me. Oh, first your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Wait, I will go too. You do not trust me? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? No. Very well, as you wish. Lady Yuna, forgive me. Who's that? Well, we got to get, navigate around these things next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X.